Polis camp controversy. We begin tonight with Caltrans clearing a camp only for the homeless to move right into a neighborhood. There are laws in place to prevent this scenario. So what happened? Thanks so much for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Kling and I'm Tony Lopez. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live in Sacramento getting answers on a legal loophole, Marissa, when it comes to clearing homeless camps. Yeah, that's right, Tony. Neighbors filed formal complaints, finding needles, trash, and even human waste here just underneath the X Street Bridge. Caltrans calling it a public safety issue, but now those homeless people are taking their stuff and moving it right across the street. They just took everything. Michelle looks through what's left of belongings from this campsite on W Street that housed dozens of her friends. Not all homeless litter, not all homeless steel. This week, Caltrans bulldozers moved in, wiping out everything and everyone on site. It's horrible. It's, um, it, you know, and even in eviction, you get 30 days or 30, 60, 90 days. That Caltrans had no strategy for where those camps would go. Council member Katie Valenzuela says her office never got notified the sweep was happening. She says with the nearby safe ground camping sites and shelters at full capacity, people moved right across the street in front of residential homes. Just moving folks without having a place for them to go is not a solution. The law says agencies can't move homeless camps unless the city provides alternative housing. So why is this an exception? Caltrans cites an infrastructure law. If the site poses an immediate threat to public health and safety, Caltrans can hold a cleanup. Neighbors have watched W Street change drastically over the last year, seeing trash, needles, and waste and some even getting their water stolen. I know we have people come up on our porch every once in a while. Like, I can't keep an ashtray out there without it getting stolen. There is some, like, you know, egregious, like, activity, like, extracurricular things that go on. In a statement, Caltrans says they assessed the site after formal complaints were sent in and found it to be a public safety risk. Protocol is to post notice about the sweep within 72 hours, though some say they were surprised. We found this sign from last Friday warning you must vacate by Wednesday. We need a place to go. We need a safe place to go. The housing crisis for everyone involved once again playing out on Sacramento city streets. You got to do what's best for the people, but we can't forget that you know, they're people too. Well, Caltrans also says they reached out to the city to ask for assistance, for resources for the homeless community, but ultimately they're not responsible for providing those resources. There is another Caltrans uh, sweep planned for 29th Street and W this coming Monday. All right, we'll track it. Marissa, thank you. Live in Sacramento tonight.